Greetings fellow Fright Fiends, it's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for another episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. And today's video is going to be on a, another tribute to uh, my favorite actor, Anthony Perkins. Um, this, uh, the subject of this one is going to be on a pilot that he actually did um, for a failed uh, TV series. Um, this uh, series was going to be called The Ghost Rider. Um, it, the pilot aired on August 15th of 1990. Um, so the same year that um, he did Daughter of Darkness, um, he also did I'm Dangerous Tonight and Psycho 4. Um, the premise of The Ghost Rider revolves around uh, a best-selling horror novelist um, named Anthony Stark. And um, just that it's almost like he, it's almost kind of like uh, he lives in this kind of gothic house. His wife has just recently passed and he, from a book tour, he came back uh, with a new wife. Um, who also has a daughter, and it sort of deals with the 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 the, the TV movie kind of deals with them dealing with his family, which consists of his son named Edgar and his sort of I guess she's kind of like his housekeeper, cook, Miss Blasco, um, and then just all the weird happenings um, in his home and uh, things like that. It's it's really kind of a cute little. Um, uh, TV movie, and I actually never saw it as a kid. I didn't even know about it until about maybe five or six years ago. You can actually only watch it on YouTube. They actually have the episode. It's still got the the tracking numbers on it, um, but you can watch um, the full episode. It's about 30 minutes in length, and it's broken up into three parts, and I'll put the links down below um, to the uh, to this show so people can check it out. It's really done very tongue in cheek. It's very kind of wink at the camera kind of thing. A lot of like little, you know, one liners and things like that. But the thing that I loved about it is that Anthony Perkins looked like he was having a blast playing Anthony Stark. He was having so you can just tell, and it's it's very much like a play. So it's so there's a lot of you know uh, the cast is very kind of over the top a little bit. The dialogue is very fun. Um, it's very, you know, um, campy and uh, it's very 90s kind of sitcom-ish. Um, but uh, like I said, it's very much in the in the vein of a stage play. And I actually thought the sets were really well done. I love the look of the uh, the interior of the house and some of the little the little touches. There's also a scene in the cemetery. And that's the, the one thing that's also is then Kurt Paul plays uh, the grave digger in, in the pilot. And Kurt Paul actually was uh, Anthony Perkins' stunt double in Psycho 2 and Psycho 3. Um, he played Mother. And then he also played Raymond Lynette in Psycho 4. And he played Norman Bates in the Bates Motel pilot. And what's funny is Kurt Paul's scene was actually cut from the um, when it aired on network television, but you can see it in the word print that's on YouTube. His scene, so it's kind of weird they cut that scene out because I actually thought it was it was a pretty good scene. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. The Ghost Rider is a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I think the biggest uh, joy for me watching it is that Anthony Perkins looked like he was having a blast doing it, and it's a shame that this couldn't have become a series. I think it would have done really well. Um, it really plays on the fact that, you know, Perkins was kind of looked at sometimes as a scary person or somebody that, you know, because he played all these kind of quirky, weird characters, especially later into his career, but that deep down he was really a good guy. I really had a fun time with the Ghost Rider. I wish I could buy it on Blu-ray or DVD or something. I wish they would have released it, but 
I I wonder if they ever will, just because I mean this this is you know going on you know 26 years that it aired and it's never been on any type of you know format like VHS. I don't think it was on VHS, and I know it hasn't been on Blu-ray or DVD. But I would give this a solid uh, four skulls. So yeah, the Ghost Rider. I think it's one of the gems from the latter half of uh, Anthony Perkins' career. I, I actually really had a lot of, of fun watching it. And if anybody else has seen it and wants to share their thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below. Would love to hear from everyone. And thanks so much for watching Boogeyman Ben's Horizon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared. Peace.